I've witnessed more women than I can count who've bought into the lie that deep devotional love slowly vanishes after 40. In today's video, I'm gonna to prove to you why that's a bunch of BS and show you seven raw and unexpected reasons why your deepest, most passionate, and fulfilling love life only happens after 40. If you're watching this video, there's some part of you that secretly believes or openly believes that your best days are behind you, that the possibility of connecting to an amazing human being who can be your resident match, your lover, your best friend, someone who shares life with you through the best and through the worst of moments is either slowly vanishing or it's already past the train station. I want to make sure that from today's video, you wake up the reality that your deepest, most fulfilling feeling love life is ahead of you if you decide that's the case. One thing that's going to be incredibly important to make true to the promise of this video where your love life after 40 is more fulfilling, more passionate, more deeply felt than before is that you need to make a commitment to yourself. The commitment is you're going to keep going until you get what you want. And I'll share with you an example. If you have a child and your child is taking a little longer to walk than other children his age or her age, somebody asks you the question, well, how much longer will you give your child before you say, I'm going to put you in a wheelchair. You should never walk because it's being challenging for you. The answer to that is probably, you must be crazy. I'm going to do whatever it takes until my child walks. Well, the same thing needs to be true in your love life. And by you doing whatever it takes, it doesn't mean doing the same thing you've been doing if it hasn't been working, but having the humility and the patience and the courage and the hunger to find new ways, new strategies, new mindsets that allow you to create what before seemed impossible and now is a reality within your grasp. Now, one thing that needs to be super clear before I share the raw reasons why your love life is so much better after 40, you need to understand that difficulty in attracting a life partner and your ability to experience deepest love are two separate things. And I'm gonna give you an analogy. Back in the day where you were studying for finals, you were happy to stop by the 7-Eleven and get a six pack of Coke and a ramen soup and a store pizza and you feel so happy with that meal. Hopefully your palate has developed further to where that's no longer something that feels super fulfilling for you. Maybe you're looking for a gourmet meal that's farm to table. Maybe you are really into the artistry of a three Michelin restaurant that is not just an incredible feast for the senses, but also so beautiful and so appealing to your heart. If you are right now at a stage in your life where you're no longer going for pizza, it's going to be harder than getting pizza. Does that make sense? And why shouldn't it be? We live right now in an entitled society that feels that the deepest, most sublime, most passionate, most interconnected, most self-expressed version of love that has ever been wanted by humans in all of the totality of history should be something that A, happens naturally, and B, shows up for us on our doorstep without having to try really hard or learn new skills. Well, that is not the case. And because you are looking for something presumably far more advanced and far more nuanced, and far more in tune with your heart than what you may have been looking for back in the day, in your 20s or even 30s, then yeah, it's going to be challenging to find it. But that is not the same thing as you not being able to do it. Now, this video would be incredibly long if I dedicated it to two things. First, the reasons why you can have what you want in your 40s and beyond, and also how to go get it. So if you want to learn how to go get it, I have created hundreds of videos on the topic, and you can go to my channel and watch any of them, and the majority of them are around that topic, how to actually get what you want. Some of you might be thinking, why even try? Why even go for something that's not within my grasp? I want to open your eyes to know that the deepest form of love is still ahead of you if you decide. The first unexpected reason why your love life in your 40s and beyond is more fulfilling, is deeper, is because you've suffered more losses. You heard me right. You've suffered more losses, which means you are keenly aware of what is important and what is not as important. You also know that there's things in life that maybe you used to value a lot more in the past that right now you find minimal or small value in them. Suffering more losses means that you can be more present. Suffering more losses means that you can be more real. Suffering more losses means that you can actually learn the art of compromising in ways that you had before. The fact that you have experienced pain of the deepest kind, heartbreak, suffering, makes you able 
to value things more deeply and get to the core of what you're looking for with not just more passion, but also more clarity. Second unexpected reason why your best love life is after 40 is because at that stage in life, midlife, you start going from potentially, if you're a wise enough individual, from a gathering accolades to traveling lighter. You've done the metaphorical trip to Europe backpacking, taking your cowboy boots and your hair dryer and recognize through the suffering of carrying that for miles and miles that those are things you no longer need to carry when you travel backpacking. If you are at that stage in your life where you're shedding down the things that no longer serve you, that means you can shut down behaviors that don't serve you. You can shut down arguments that don't serve you. You can shut down maybe some requirements that you were going for in the past, like the super tall, strong, charismatic dude that you've experienced already time and time again hasn't given you the results you want and now you're willing to connect not to someone you're not attracted to because that's really important but someone you might be less attracted to physically but has stronger values and a stronger character and much more kindness and compassion and consistency. Yogi Bhajan said travel light, live light, spread the light and be the light. So when you think about being in a stage of your life where you're going for what's more important and essential and meaningful, it is that the quality and depth of love you can experience is stronger. The third unexpected reason why your best love happens after 40 is because you're wiser. And what does it take to be wiser? You've suffered more. You've messed up more. You've made more mistakes. You've forgiven people. You've been betrayed. You've had the experience experience of maybe not getting what you want again and again. So you've started figuring out better ways of getting it and also maybe shuffled the type of qualities you're searching for, not just in people, but in things. The art of going through painful experiences in life creates a stronger sense of resiliency. It creates a stronger spirit. It creates a human being that's far more connected to what's true in nature. You can pick your battles more powerfully. When you're wiser, you don't have to fight about the stupid little things that you used to fight about. You can really choose that more accurately and make sure that you speak when you need to speak and you stay quiet when you need to stay quiet. Your ego is no longer running the show, ideally. And if that's the case, you can enter what many wise human beings have talked about, which is the power of challenges in life to create, not just a default of, I went through life despite my challenges. No, I went through life because of my challenges. My challenges were my teachers. The obstacle is the way. When you understand and realize that, you can enter a relationship far more consciously, far more aware, far less willing to fight about every single little thing and far more connected to what's essential in life. The fourth raw reason why your best love life only happens after 40 is because you know your body far more intimately and far more powerfully. What does that mean? When you're younger, you're barely starting to understand what it is that you want, who you are, and you're more awkward. And if you're someone who connects the right person and the right person for you is someone who connects with you and loves you exactly as you are physically, he's not trying to change your weight. He's not trying to remove wrinkles from your face. He loves you the way you are right now. If you connect with a guy like that, you're gonna feel far more uninhibited, far more self-expressed than you ever have previously in your life. And the fact that you know your body more intimately means that you can also express to him how he can play his marvelous music in you so that you enjoy life more, so you enjoy connection more, enjoy sex more even. When that takes place, you have a connection that is not just intimate and emotional and spiritual, but physically far more connected than what you experienced earlier in life. Now, before I share my last three points, which are incredibly important to know about, if you're a single woman watching this, I'm gonna be willing to bet right now that you're not aware of the root cause where you're still single. There's a difference between a symptom and a root cause, and if you're addressing the symptom, you won't be able to get what you want. So what I've done is I've taken 13 years of helping women in every walk of life you can imagine, every challenging situation, every age group, every religion to finally find the guy they've been looking for, sometimes for decades, and lasting relationships. And I got the findings of that process into a quiz you can take in about 60 seconds that will reveal to you the number one reason you're still single. If you'd like to participate, all you have to do is go to the first link in the description. You will see a page that looks like this. Answer a few simple questions and within 60 seconds you'll have two things the answer to the elusive question why you're still single and a custom report based on your specific blind spot is going to share with you the number one action you can take today to attract the guy you want in a fraction of the time. Fifth unexpected reason why 
your best love life is after 40 is because you're closer to dying. If you've ever had the unfortunate yet life altering, changing and soul shattering experience of being told someone you love with all your heart has a specific amount of time to live. Maybe there's a devastating form of cancer. You know there's a very finite limited time. Guess what happens in one split second in the span of one conversation or one phone call, the stuff that is irrelevant drops to the floor. You drop to your knees in gratitude for still having this human being in your life and you recognize that you can't focus on bullshit anymore. You have to really state what you need to say, express your truth. You need to be yourself with this human being and tell them with all your might in as many ways as possible how much you appreciate and love them. I know that you may not have a specific finite time to die, but the fact that you're much closer now than you used to be means that you can tap into that sense of rawness and vulnerability and aliveness to have a much more connected and much more honest type of conversation with someone that leads to a lifelong commitment that is really fulfilling. I mean, no disrespect to a 20-something life coach, but if you haven't lived enough and suffered enough and learned enough and made your own mistakes to teach somebody else how to live their life is something really challenging. But when you've been the kind of human being who is on the path of releasing the baggage and you're closer and closer to that final breath of yours, then you can value things the way they need to be valued with presence and with reverence. Sixth raw reason why your best love life only happens after 40 is because you can see through the bullshit. Here's what I mean by that. You've bought that lemon of a car that ended up being junk and you've learned through the pain of buying that lemon car Car, how to buy cars and what questions to ask, how to do a better assessment and maybe even bring a technician before. So when you've gone through an experience of life or multiple that have shown you what not to do, then you also can start seeing without getting to the other side of the spectrum, which is cynical, you can see through the BS. You can see someone who intuitively feels like they're pushing too hard on some agenda that is not really for your benefit. Or maybe you're watching someone who goes on a date with you and there's this feeling of salesmanship that no longer appeals to your heart. Why? Because you've made the mistake before. The last reason that I'll mention today, there's more, but the last one I'll mention today as to why your best love life is after 40 is because your commitment to truth is more fierce. Listen, you have less to lose. You have less moments to waste. You have a stronger awareness of what you want, what you crave, what you need. So your ability to walk away from situations can get stronger and your ability to speak your truth beyond what people just want to hear. As long as you're delivering kindly and with compassion, your commitment to truth is higher. So for all these reasons, if you're someone who's been saying to herself in mistake that your best days are before you, I encourage you to triple think again. If your wisdom, your suffering, the closeness to death, all the things that some people can see that are morbid and sad cannot be your biggest advantage going forward cannot be the light that allows you to turn this alchemy of experience and life and pain into this beautiful symphony that is the most fulfilling love life you've ever had. I hope this is helpful and useful. If it is, it means the world to me and my channel because this is the only way I can grow and reach more women if you click like and subscribe. And if you'd like to learn how you can continue attracting the guy you want and enter that relationship you've been craving without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, games or stupid techniques, make sure to watch the next video right here.